A Polk County Elementary School on edge after an intruder is found inside. Teachers at Bartow Elementary Academy noticed a suspicious man trying to open locked doors in the fifth grade hall. Now that man is behind bars. And Melissa Marino joins us live from the school. And do we know how he got in or what he was doing there, Melissa? Well, officials are still trying to figure that out. Witnesses tell us that he climbed this fence right here, got up onto that balcony, prompting this major scare. He actually walked past her and a friend that were going to the bathroom and winked and smiled at them. Amber Doyle says her daughter knew right away the man she passed in the hallway didn't belong. They just kind of went knocking on their classroom door, eyes wide open, um, and told a teacher that there was a guy without a badge in the hallway. Mr. Stevens, you're charged in the following manner. Please tell us the intruder was this man, Don Stevens, who is now facing burglary and trespassing charges. It's certainly brazen on his part. It's the middle of the day. School's uh, open for session. And and um, we have kids out on campus. We have kids in classrooms. Teachers at Bartow Elementary Academy noticed Stevens Monday afternoon trying to open locked doors in the fifth grade hall. It was for him what he felt was a, a easy score of a, a computer system or something like that, and that's why he was in the school. When confronted, we're told Stevens took off. The school went on lockdown until he was caught a few blocks away. How did he get in? Um, the school's working on that right now and determining exactly how he got in. Uh, An email was sent to parents about the incident. Those we spoke with say it wasn't enough. I don't think it was accur accurately portrayed that the kids um, were actually in danger. Um, my daughter got in the car telling me that she had direct interaction with the guy, so that was pretty concerning. Well, parents want the school to make changes so that this does not happen again. School officials tell us that they are looking at safety procedures. Stacy, Melissa, do we know anything else about Stevens? Yeah, he has a long criminal record. He was already facing drug charges, and that's why his bond was denied today. Stacy. All right, Melissa Marino, live in Polk County tonight for us. Thank you.